What is it called? Parietal. Parietal eye. Parietal. What does that mean? That's her third eye on the top of her head. She has a third eye. Good morning, Reptilians. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. So this week we're gonna be talking all about children and children handling reptiles. You guys have actually been asking me about this video for a while now, and you guys know that I don't really put my kids on camera, but I felt like this was a really good opportunity since I have four kids and I have a whole bunch of reptiles and I thought it'd be kind of cool to look at each of the ages of those children and what we do in terms of letting the children handle the animals. So obviously it's going to be very different from an almost two year old to a 13 year old in what they can handle and what they are capable of handling. So if you have children and you're thinking about getting reptiles and don't know how the two will interact, or maybe you are a kid and want to know what animals are good for handling, hopefully this video helps you out a little bit. Without further ado, let's get to that video. What is she? What is that? Nice touch. Can you nice touch? So with my two year old, we do something called nice touch and nice touch is just what it sounds like. We are teaching him how to touch the animals nicely. The thing that they are going to be most excited about are the tails and the face. And you can see that he immediately went for that tail. He immediately went for that face. So I don't suggest letting a child this small handle animals like at all, but petting them is going to help a lot with their respect and understanding of these animals. And it's going to help in the long run with them liking these animals. So I don't suggest that you let them hold any of them, but working on nice touch or whatever you want to call it is always super, super helpful. We did the same thing with my four-year-old and yeah, super helpful. See? See? But mostly just as demonstrated here, your small child might not even be interested. Here, he was more interested in the wall and the fake leaves behind us than the animals most of the time. So don't expect them to be super excited, especially if you've had these animals in your house already. Don't expect too much excitement. But in my opinion, that's kind of a good thing that they're not overly excited about them because it means that they're not going to be opening tanks and things like that, hopefully. Good job, high five. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Here we have my four-year-old. So obviously he is going to be a little bit more calm than the two-year-old and he does get to handle the animals, but only when he is seated and only when someone is there, because as you see here, there are still moments of panic for him when handling these animals. So we just want to make sure that he's always seated and that there's always an adult there with him that can diffuse these situations. Because if he was left alone with these sorts of animals, that little moment of happy panic could quickly turn to an animal getting injured and we obviously don't want that. He's just wrapping him around me. Mm -hmm. So. That's really cool. Is he going? <laughs> is he cool? Yeah, I grab him around. What is he? A snake. Do you know what kind of snake he is? Yeah. A wall of ice one. Uh -huh. There you go. <laughs> He's touching Has mom had the snake for a long time? Yeah. How long? Very, 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 very long time. Oh, very long time. Okay. If you see a snake in the wild, can you play with it? No. Why not? Because, because they're a bit. They might bite you? Yeah. Yeah, and they can be dangerous, right? Yeah. So we only play with our pet snakes, right? Yeah. But as you can see here, he has learned quite a bit about these animals from having them. So let's listen to what he has to say about them. You excited? Yeah. Why are you excited? I don't know because I don't know who it's Zaz. Do you like Zaz? Yeah. Why do you like Zaz? Because he's my favorite pet. It's your favorite? What is Zaz? Zaz is a beer dragon. Good job. What does Zaz eat? Bugs. Bugs? What else? He eats vegetables. Good job. When you get older, do you want a pet bearded dragon? Yeah, a pet bearded dragon and a, and a pig. And a pet snake. Um, my favorite reptile is bearded dragons. There's a bearded dragon? Yeah. What does Zaz do when he has to poop? She, she splashes. She splashes what? She splashes water. Splashes water? Yeah. What, in the bathtub? 
No, not in that. Not in the giant, giant bathtub. Oh, the sink. Yeah. Does Zaz bite? Yeah. She does. Yeah. Has she ever bit you? No. Has she ever bit anyone here? No. But that's why we keep our fingers away from her mouth, right? Because she could bite. Right? Yeah. Does she have sharp teeth? Yeah. Is Zaz a night lizard or a day or a yeah or a day lizard? A day lizard. A day lizard? Why is she a day lizard? She's sweet and dark, but she, but, but she's lives in the daytime. But look at her claws. <laughs> she's almost scratching. Yeah, are her claws sharp. So, nope. <laughs> oh, okay. Another super helpful thing that you can do to help your small children bond with your animals is just letting them hand feed the animals. My two-year-old isn't quite old enough to do this yet, but my four-year-old does do this. You can see that there's still a little panic when she tries to take it, but it is something that he enjoys doing and it helps them bond with the animals and the animals get used to them. This is Sterling. He's a banana ball python. He's six years old. So now we start getting into the older children. And with this, basically it's just going to be maturity level. At this age, at 11, he's gonna basically be able to hold whatever he wants. Now with some of the more jumpy animals like Crested Gecko, he might need someone there to kind of help him if the animal leaps up a wall. But for the most part, he can handle what he wants. He has his own pet snake, a corn snake, that he takes care of basically by himself. Yeah, I will let him tell you guys more about his corn snake. <laughs> All right, you want around your shoulders? Uh, around my neck. Well, I can hear him. There one. we go. All right, who is this? This is Wade. Wade Wilson was named after Deadpool. Is Deadpool one of your favorite superheroes? Yes. Okay. Who's, who's been letting you watch Deadpool? Not me. <laughs> 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 He's an albino, motley, corn snake. Where'd we get him at? Repticon. Yeah, here we, go. we got him at Repticon. You picked him out, right? Yep. How do you know when you can take him out? When... Usually when he's just, just like slithering around. What does he usually eat for food? He eats small mice. Small mice? Small How mouse. many small mice does he eat? Two, no. What's your favorite part about your snake? Um, just that he likes pulling a lot of pranks. Like pooping all the time when I take him out. Does he poop on you a lot? Uh, no, I've now got used to the fact that when he wants to poop, he sits there. But what's the most uh, silly thing he's pooped on? What's the silly thing? Probably me, that first thing. <laughs> <laughs> if another kid wanted a corn snake, would you tell them that it's a good pet to have? Yeah. Why? Because they're easy and they don't strike. They're super active, right? Yeah. A lot more active than the ball pythons. Oh. Alright, we're good? Go. Alright, you can go put him back. He's oh, my goodness. He's never been this nice. That's, he uh, loves the camera. And now for a quick refresher of handling Dexter. Again, this is not something I would suggest for the smaller children, only for the older ones that have the hand-eye coordination to handle crested geckos. You like your ring? <laughs> oh, not this again. One hand in front, one hand, whatever way he's facing, you're always making sure that you're keeping a hand in front of him. Because he's a jumper. He doesn't really crawl. He likes to jump. Okay? Yeah. So. I'm going to jump on the sink. Examine him. Alright, remember, do not grab his tail. If he jumps, it's fine. Just let him jump. <laughs> now, remember, put your hand in front. Put your hand in front. <laughs> Alright. Alright, who is this? Henry. This is Dexter? Yep, Dexter. What this type is of, Dexter. What type of reptile is he? He is a gecko. What type of gecko? Leopard gecko. Crested gecko. Crested gecko. And why is he called a crested gecko? Um, I'm pretty sure because of the little, the little crest thing on his head. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Alright, introduce her. This is Zaz. She's a bearded dragon. She is the only bearded dragon we have in the house. She runs around her tank when she needs to poop and if you don't hold her tail she will feel like she's falling and she will freak out. 
um, what is that primordial eye? What is it called? Parietal. Parietal eye? Parietal. What does that mean? That's her third eye on the top grid. She has a third eye. Yeah. See this itty bitty spot right there? Yeah. That's her third eye. What that basically does is it, it when a bird flies over, it create, a bird will create a shadow. And the third eye will detect that shadow as it crosses, and that's how she knows that there's a bird up there and birds eat bird. A lot of birds will eat bird dragons. Oh. What's it called again though? Parietal eye. Parietal eye. Okay. Zaz turns a few different colors. When she turns black, she, one, uh, is stressed out, or two, she's soaking up the sun. She also changes a different color sometimes when she's about to shed, which she just recently shed. This is Percy. Percy is a max snow leopard gecko. Her as a gecko, she does not stick to walls and have suction cup that's at the bottom of her feet. She has tiny little claws at the bottom of her feet and she is super duper soft. Percy can lose her tail and some people don't know that when they lose their tail, they act, it's actually an open wound at the end of their tail. Does it grow back? Yes, Percy's tail does grow back. What's she feel like? She is super soft. She is softer than most of the things I've ever touched in my life. So she feels different than the other reptiles? Very. She's smooth? She is bumpy, actually, but she is the softest you could touch. Do you think she's a good reptile for kids? Yeah. No, kind of not, because... A kid could scare her too much to where she could lose her tail. Percy is crepuscular, where she wakes up at sunrise and she sleeps most of the day and she also wakes up again at downfall. And you can see why she's called a leopard. She's got all these spots and she's kind of the same color as a leopard. She looks more like a cheetah though. Is she going to get any bigger? I don't think so, no. It's as big as she's going to get? I think so, yeah. Okay. This is Dexter and he likes to jump a lot. So I'll have to keep my hand in front. Dexter is a partial pin striped crested gecko. As you if you can't see, he's got his feet bent up. He's not like the other leopard gecko. He has suction cups at the bottom of his feet. And he is a nighttime animal, so he's nocturnal. And he, his slits up on his eyes um, open up more at night because he has night vision. If Dexter loses his tail, it doesn't grow back because crested gecko's tails don't grow back and leopard gecko's tails do grow back. Something funny about Dexter is if a crested gecko loses his tail, it's called a frog butt. <laughs> Dexter has a little Dalmatian stripe right here. I know, I'm watching. Oh, he just wiggled his butt. Mm, no. <laughs> and that is it. Hopefully this video gave you guys some tips on letting your children interact with animals and let you see that some interaction between these reptiles and children is perfectly okay. And it is super helpful in teaching them about these animals instead of them just reading it in a book, which is always awesome. Always a huge pro to keeping exotic animals. As always, if you have not already, please feel free to follow me on my other socials and like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications every single time I put out a new video, which is every Sunday, and pretty soon some Wednesdays. So make sure you have that bell turned on so that you can get notified when my husband starts doing his Wednesday DIY sorts of videos. This week's Instagram shout out goes to Bex Beasties for following me on Instagram and going through and liking a whole bunch of my stuff. And this week's subscriber shout out goes to Araman S. I'm so sorry you comment on almost all of my videos and you've been commenting for so long and I still don't know how to say your name. Thank you guys both so much. You are the bee's knees. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye. He's like, he's like, I love your hair. I love your hair. Yes, yeah, that's what, like my hair. How long have you had him? Percy is a Max Leopard Gecko. Max Snow. Percy is a Max Leopard Snow Gecko. Max Snow Leopard Gecko. <laughs> Percy. Yeah, that's probably good. He's Here's looking at my ears. Hey. <laughs> mm.
This is not stick. You want a nice touch that now? This is stick there. Yeah, see, look, see. <gasps> see? 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 Yeah. See? This is Dexter. He is. I know. What was he again? <laughs> Sorry, I lost yeah, thought. He's a, he's a jumper. I know, but like, what is he? And he is a partial pinstripe <laughs> leopard <laughs> gecko. He is a partial pinstripe crested gecko. Dexter is a partial pinstripe leopard gecko. Dexter is a partial pinstripe crested gecko. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say that again. Oh. I dream about. I just. I just dream about night bats, though. About what? I dream about night bats or trying what swords. <laughs> you dreamed about night bats with swords. Night bats with swords. <laughs> yeah, they just added hands in the dream. <laughs> and arms. They had hands and arms. Yeah, and they added wings, wings on them. <laughs> and they added wings on them. And they had wings. Yeah. Probably. I mean, you can mention it. Yeah. Okay. Just okay. Yeah.